Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, today in this video tutorial, I will be taking care of a new sensor that is ADXL345. Now let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search for this particular sensor as you can see. And here we go and let's see what's it specifically. Uh, as you can see, it's a 3-axis accelerometer and these are some of its more prominent features which you can see. Also, you can have the ability to purchase from this uh, as you can say add to cart is here. Furthermore, I will be interfacing and displaying the working of the accelerometer ADXL345 with the beacon bone black and the platform I'm using is a C language code and let's go to resource tab and here comes the C code sample. You can download the code sample as a zip file from here and you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Well, now we need to set up some hardware connections for the working and the interfacing. Let's have it. Coming to the connections part of the hardware, first of all we require the BeagleBone Black which you can see on my screen and this here is an I2C shield. It's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices. So for that, gently place this I2C shield over the BeagleBone Black and make a connection like this. Just like that. Now we need our sensor that is the accelerometer ADXL345 and this here is a connecting cable. Make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason we need uh, to connect it to I2C sheet. Next part we need to provide the power and for the beagle bone black and there are two things for that. First of all a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here at this jack. Next, we need an adapter of 5 volt supply so that we can apply it here on this power jack. The last part is to provide an internet connection and there are two mediums. First of all, an ethernet or a LAN cable and you can insert it here on this ethernet jack. You can also use a wireless nano USB adapter for the internet connection and after that, we are all done with the connections. Now let's have a look over the C code and let's interface. Coming to the interfacing part, first of all we have to log in to github.com and here we have to search on for the repository that is control everything community. After that we have to search for the sensor that is ADXL345 and here we go and this is the C code. Let's have a look over the instructions first. First of all we have to connect and set up our device that is the BeagleBone Black and all the steps are provided for the setup on the link that is BeagleBone dot org after that we have to download or get pull the code on the beagle bone black and we have to compile and this is the command to compile and this is the command to run the c code note it down and let's go back to the code as you can observe it's a dot c extension file and in the code you notice that we have included some of the header files uh, in the void main function we have to create an i2c bus as you can notice uh, it will check whether the bus is there or not and then we have to check for the i2c device which will have the address of the sensor that is 0x5 f53 it's f 0x53 and after that we have the reading section where we are going to select the bandwidth rate register 0x2c and we are going to send the command for normal mode output data rate equal to 100 hertz which is 0x08 writing section here then we have to select power control register 0x2d and we are going to send the command for auto sleep disable that is 0x08 and the writing command is here and in the last writing part we are going to select data format register that is 0x31 and we are going to send for self test disabled 4 wire interface full resolution range equal to plus minus 2g which is 0x08 and the writing section is here then we have a sleep or delay of 1 second and then in the writing Section after the writing section part, we have the reading part, and here we are reading six bytes of acceleration data from the register 0x32, which is the x, y, and y, z acceleration data. Then we have the conversion of the data takes place here, which means that we have followed the rules for the details of the data sheet ADXL345. And at the bottom of the code, we have the output to be displayed on the screen, which is the acceleration in x, y, and z axis and these are the raw values also. Now we are done with the code, let's have a look over the working. Well for the working environment part, well, the first step is to copy this C code and let's see what we got here. And when I do copy this code, 
the next step is to open up the terminal for the raspberry for the beaglebone black and here we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen it's a .c file for the extension and here we have to paste the entire code we have just copied from github and then we have to save it after that this is the command we have seen for the compilation process as you can notice and then this is the command we have to follow and the code code is here the code is compiled that's correct and after that to build and to run the code this is the command we have to follow and here we go as you can see we have the acceleration in x y and z which are the perpendicular axis and as I'm running the command you can notice the values the raw values specifically in the acceleration for x y z are almost constant because there is no motion in the sensor but when I try to rotate the sensor and run the command you can notice the change in the magnitude for acceleration in all three perpendicular axes as I am rotating the sensor the values are changing as per the acceleration change so this is how the sensor responds to the C code along with the Beaglebone Black now let's have a look over the applications and the benefits of this sensor the ADXL345 is a small thin low power 3 axis accelerometer with high resolution measurement up to 16 plus minus 16 G digital output data is formatted as 16 bit 2's complement and is accessible through either a SPI 3 or 4 wire or an I2C digital interface it measures the static acceleration of cavity in tilt sensing applications as well as dynamic acceleration resulting from motion or shock so these features make it very useful for wide range of applications such as handsets medical instrumentation, gaming and pointing devices, personal navigation devices, fitness equipment and a lot more. This sensor can be purchased from the website controleverything.com and you can also get the code from there. Go to resource tab and you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and you understood and in case if you have any queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page. For blogs and articles which are relevant to this sensor or video, you can go to instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials just like this, go to our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.